So one of the, probably the most important thing as a parent um, who wants their children to succeed in sport, in football predominantly, um, is the realisation and understanding that uh, coaches don't have a magic wand, that things don't happen overnight, that the general principle is that you need to have um, a lot of different parameters present in the environment in which your children are, excuse me, developing. Um, and so, therefore, the main word really is consistency. Consistency in the consistency in the model, in how regular, how long, um, and the type of environment that's been created for your children to be able to improve in what they do. So consistency is the main thing. Um, things don't happen overnight. We live in a world where everything is instantaneous and the reality of it is when it comes to football and it comes to sports and it comes to a lot of things, um, it's not the, the end product that matters. It's the process. It's the, the, the thought of putting yourself through the pain and, and the hard work and the sacrifice that you need to put yourself through. That is the reward. The reward isn't what you get at the end of it. The reward is the actual process. And so as a parent, I guess the most important thing is that um, whatever it is that your children decide they want to do is that you plan it, is that you get some information that you, you, um, you sort of learn a little bit about the sport in which your children want to participate. And if your children are very ambitious and want to do well in that sport, you really do need to do your homework. Um, Listening to other parents is not necessarily um, homework. I think what you need to do is you need to really look at the ins and outs of the whole industry, um, of what's happening, and the fact that we're not developing um, players, um, I guess like we did in the past. Um, and again, in the past, I don't know if we were developing players, I just think it was a different generation. So it's really important to have your kid in the right environment. So, you know, not. Playing in, a, in an MPL1 club isn't necessarily um, the right choice. It's not the wrong choice, but it's not necessarily the right choice because if you put him or, her, him or her in an MPL1 club and you've got a, a bad coach, bad club, club with no um, detailed curriculum where coaches are fragmented, so in other words, they're all doing their own thing, um, there's no consistency in that. So, you know, you don't know whether your kid's going to be picked next year or not. It all comes down to how good he is how well he plays and, and whether or not the perception of the coach um, is such that he values your child. Um, so your child could be small and skillful and a really good player but because the coach has a perception that um, to win you need bigger, faster, stronger players. Because of his size he might not pick him. He might not play him. He might not give him the game time he deserves. He might not even play him in the right position. So there's so many factors that go into it. So what you need is, is a place where your children can um, have some consistency and I guess this is where academies have come in um, where they work hand in hand with the clubs I guess they don't talk to each other and things like that maybe some do maybe some don't but at the end of the day um, they provide that extra service um, that has a little bit more consistency in terms of development because we don't compete we're basically there for the individual so um, yeah so that's the thought of the day um, hope that helps enjoy your day